Hi everyone, I'm Quentin Schultz, author of the book An Essential Guide to Public Speaking. An Essential Guide to Public Speaking. And I'm looking at the various chapters in the book, a little bit of summary, a little bit of elaboration. And now for a very interesting section. Chapter 20, Stage with Technology. Stage with Technology. My approach to understanding the use of technology in public speaking is very different from what you'll find in other books on public speaking. I'm going to explain why, but I, I want to do it in a way that will persuade you to consider my approach. Because in my experience, and my former students, and some of the people that I am mentoring in their public speaking, including pastors, they have found this approach most helpful. So stay with me, even if it's going to seem a little crazy up front. The, the position I take is that all public speaking is a kind of performance. Consider like a drama, theatrical performance. It's a performance. I don't mean by that it's just put on, it's phony, but I mean we do things. I put it on here, we perform with things. We use our voice, for instance. We use our body. We use various quote-unquote technologies. In fact, I believe that everything that we use in public speaking, we can consider everything a technology. All around us, we could consider our voice a technology and we use it a particular way. We could consider, of course, the things we think of as technology, like PowerPoint. I'm not going to say much about PowerPoint, projection, technology, slideware, whatever you want to call it, in this presentation. You can look at that in the book where I developed some materials on how to use that well. I want to get to the root of the matter, this performing with things, all things, because this is what's really important. Too quickly we jump into technology thinking that technology is just about PowerPoint or computers. In fact, when I am invited to speak, one of the first questions if not the first question I hear from my host is, what technology will you need? What they mean is, are you going to use PowerPoint? That's what they mean. Very narrow view of technology. So I want to broaden the view. Technology includes all things that we use and how we use them. Technology includes, if you will, hardware and software, and often we are the software. We determine how to use particular things. So here is some technology. Look at this magical technology. Whoa! I can go here and I can circle this and empath. Look at that. Technology. I've used it in a particular way. This technology could be used in many other ways, right? Uh, I have some lighting here some fill-in lighting. In fact, I'm going to reach over and turn my fill-in light on this side off. There you go. That's not bad. I can stay with that. Let me turn that back on. I've got a little LED up above and behind me, a little bit here for some backlight. You can decide if that's helpful or not. I'm staging myself as a public speaker with various kinds of technology. I'm using them. I'm operationalizing them. Public speaking is action. And the action includes the things that we use and how we use them. That, to me, is what it means to say we stage our speaking with technology. I like that word staging because it does bring up drama. And you think about all the things on a stage that could be used when they're putting together a performance, right? So, uh, all of those things are available to us, too. Even simple props. A simple prop. What would a prop be? I, here, here's a fascinating story. There was this preacher that I used to love to hear, and he would come by our church occasionally and preach. And he wore glasses, and he would take his glasses off like this. Well, And, and he was looking down at, at, the, at the lectern, looking at Scripture, and, and then he, uh, and you knew that the longer he had those glasses in his mouth, uh, he was chewing on them and thinking about what he was going to say next. The more important 
the next thing he said would be, and he would put them on slowly and look out. Of course, and then he would say something. Brilliant. Brilliant. This was the staging of those words. And it was kind of a, like a clue, a signal. He was using his glasses as a kind of technology to suggest importance. Because in his own mind, he was thinking about how important something was. Very interesting. Quirky things can be sort of technological advantages, if you will. You never know. You never know. So, we stage with technology. All kinds of things. And the rules behind which uh, we use these things are sometimes known, sometimes unknown. Sometimes we just come up with them creatively on our own. We say, boy, that would be a good way to do this. A good way to say this. So I, I tell the story in the book about the time that I spoke to a vice presidents of a large corporation. And they had asked me there to talk about listening. In fact, the CEO heard me talk at a civic group and he said, you have to come by and speak to all of our VPs. We'll bring them in from around the country and tell them about listening. I thought, oh boy, what am I getting into? All right, I'll do it. So I went there and I stood up in front of this group. It was maybe 300 people maybe less. It may have been as few as 50. I can't remember. All I know is that I was nervous because when you go in to speak about listening, you have to be careful not to speak in a way that's critical. And so they're out there and I'm thinking about what I got to say. I'm, I'm a little bit worried about it, and, but I brought along two props. I figured maybe I wouldn't have to speak that much. I could let my props speech speak as I stage the technology. I had two little stuffed animals. One was a Canada goose and the other was a chickadee. And so I looked out over the group. I was introduced. I went up front and I said, I'm glad to be here. I'm honored to serve you. I just have one question for you. Are you a goose? And then I squeezed it and rock, 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 made the goose sounds. Or I squeezed the chickadee a chickadee. Chickadee dee dee, chickadee dee dee, chickadee dee dee. So one more time. Are you a goose? Rah, rah, rah. Or a chickadee? Chickadee dee dee, chickadee dee dee. And then I said, I am a birder. I go out and look at birds, pay attention to birds, love birds in the backyard. And you know what? Canada geese are not good listeners. They kind of push you around. They chase you off. They don't want to be bothered by you. Are you like that? With the people working under you? Or are you more like a chickadee? Chickadees will come in. They're, they're curious, little curious birds. They're a delight. They hop in. What's going on? What's going on? Chickadee, dee, dee, dee. The D, D, D. The number of Ds, by the way, is the amount of danger. Uh, but, but they come in and they look around. If you work hard enough with sunflower seeds in your hand and hold still over a few days with chickadees that come by a feeder near your house, you can actually get them to eat out of your hand. They're that friendly. I said, that's the kind of listener that we all need to be. We are there listening. We're curious. We care about what's going on. Not a goose. Bah, 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 bah. Are you more of a goose or more of a chickadee? If you become more and more like a chickadee, you'll be a better and better listener. Be curious. Be open. With open heart, open mind. Go in there and see what's going on. Not to judge, but to find out. To become knowledgeable. Two props, two quote-unquote technologies. What we need to do in all of our public speaking is to consider a menu. What are the, all of the technologies at our disposal? And in the book, I give a long list of these different categories. Some of them are high-tech, like PowerPoint. Some of them are low-tech, like those little props. All of the technologies are at our disposal. In a sense, if we use them right, if we use them in a fitting way, the technologies help us. If we use them because we're enchanted with the technologies, and we think that the technology itself is going to solve all of our communication problems and make our message really sing through. It's all in the technology rather than us. We get into trouble. 
in a sense, we believe in a kind of techno magic. Technology becomes our idol. And that's a problem with a lot of public speaking today. People believe more in the technology than in themselves. They believe more in high tech than low tech and they don't make the right decisions. So in your own public speaking, remember that you are staging yourself with all kinds of things. And among these things that you're performing with are high tech and low tech and the right kinds of those in the right situation can make all the difference. It's a matter of creativity and avoiding techno magic. Thank you so much for listening to me. Chickadee dee dee.